In this problem, we're looking at a relative frequency histogram and trying to answer some questions about it. There's a lot of text here, but let me just cut to the chase. This is some data about patients who were given a certain drug because they had a certain type of cancer and then how long they survived um, on that drug treatment. And it's a pretty terrible cancer, so survival times are not great. Uh, here we see in the histogram that uh, the patients who survived between 0 and 10 months, this is survival time in months, um, there were five of those in the sample. Uh, eight survived from 10 to 20 months. Six survived from 20 to 30 and so forth. So this histogram shows the class that each of these um, patients was in uh, based on their survival time and then how many patients in each of those classes. The question here, let me pull this up a little bit, says based on the histogram what proportion of patients survived 20 months or less and give your answers a decimal. So the 20 months or less would be all of these guys. We can do this uh, in two different ways. Uh, the total sample size here is 25. All these numbers add up to 25. We could just take 5 plus 8 and divide by 25. Or we could also take the relative frequency. If you want to compute the relative frequency, you just divide by the sample size for each of these. So that'd be 5 divided by 25, 8 divided by 25. Uh, 5 divided by 25 is 0.2, 8 divided by 25 is uh, 0.32, and you add those together, you get 0.52. So 0.52 of this sample survived from 0 to 20 months. So that's a little bit of work with interpreting relative frequency histograms.